Hey guys, Dawson Weedrick here from Nerdy in Many Ways, and I just got home from watching The Joker, starring Joaquin Phoenix, and I gotta say, I was thoroughly impressed. I mean, I'm not gonna go out there and say it's the best film ever made by any stretch of the imagination, but I was really entertained and impressed by how many things they were able to pull off in this movie. I mean, so I'm gonna talk about first, I guess, non-spoiler talk, just kinda talk about some... Uh, aspects that really impressed me in a very general form but then the second half of my video is gonna be filled with spoilers so before I get to that point I will warn you and say spoilers ahead but just be further warned right now before that time comes so first off this movie is just shot very beautifully I mean it makes very simple and sometimes even grosser just really mundane things look really cool look really nice very presentable and Joaquin Phoenix's acting is just fantastic you really believe he is who his character is and he has the problems that his character has because he just represents it so well and you really believe you were immersed in this world in this interesting version of Gotham City that is very familiar but at the same time still new to us for some reason it, I can't really explain how they made that happen but it's true it, it feels new but at the same time very familiar and there's some great themes in there I mean people were worried about you know it inspiring more violence well guess what guys I watched the movie and I still have zero desire to kill anyone so yeah I mean yes there's people out there who have some mental problems who probably should see things that inspire violence but like at the same time like it's just a really well told story and I thoroughly enjoyed how it was done and so that's my general analysis so moving into the spoiler section of this video so again if you haven't seen the movie I thoroughly suggest you go watch it before watching the second half of the video because a lot of spoilers ahead and so you're warned I'll give you a couple seconds to go out and make sure to like and subscribe on the way out all right so with this movie I mentioned the acting of Joaquin Phoenix of course his character Arthur Fleck who becomes the Joker obviously has some mental issues and one of his issues is he has this strange thing where he spontaneously laughs and it's oftentimes in the wrong situation it's oftentimes when he's nervous or has human confrontation that he is, isn't comfortable with it'll just happen which makes so much sense for the joker character to have this flaw which turns out to be a defining trait of his and he just kind of rolls with it at the end but at first you know he tries to help people understand like yes this is a flaw of mine he actually has a card that explains what his disorder is and he hands it to people whenever they kind of question him about what's going on they're like, oh, why is this so funny? He just hands him a card while he's laughing, explaining, like, hey, I have a problem. I have a disorder where I spontaneously laugh. So this is in no way saying that I think anything that's happening is funny. But this is just something I have to live with. And so I thought, I thought that was a cool addition to the character. I thought it was very interesting how they incorporated that in there. And I mentioned in the spoiler-free part of this video how there's some interesting themes throughout the movie and a couple themes that I kind of caught on to, I don't know if anybody else did, I mean, I'm sure somebody got something similar to this, but I got a couple of them where you gotta treat people around you right, regardless of who they are. You gotta treat them like human beings, you gotta be civil, and you just gotta be a good person, because you never know who you're talking to, you never know who you help have a bad day. And so you just gotta always be careful, always make sure that you're nice and courteous to other people, and, you know, that's, that's just, being a human one on one. And the next one is that I, I thought was really interesting was you can't let your inner demons boil underneath until they become your ruin. Right? You gotta make sure you try to you know, help yourself out as much as you can and to, you know, really suppress those so that way it, nothing ends up destroying your life, right? It's like if someone has a drinking problem where they are a severe alcoholic and they don't try to repress it and eventually it ends up with them having a DUI or having a uh, drunk driving car wreck that maybe kills someone or themselves that character flaw ends up being their ruin and so that's it's the same thing with like things with mental disorders or like I guess emotional problems that you have to deal with you just got to make sure you take care of it you got to take care of yourself so that way you can just continue to have a happy life make sure you avoid disaster really and so I thought that was a really cool theme in there and then they also had a somewhat political theme of how like especially in the ending scene where the Joker is on the Murray late night show he talks about how 
Uh, early in the movie, he kills three people who worked for Thomas Wayne. And so the city is like freaking out about it. And they're just like, oh, it's so sad these three guys were killed. But a lot of the poor people are seeing the Joker as a hero because the rich in Gotham City are getting away with all this stuff and they have everything, whereas the people in the, the rest of the people in the city that are poor and struggling are struggling even further because the gap between the rich and the poor in the city is getting that much bigger. And so he mentions in this talk show that if it was him, some nobody, some clown-faced nobody on the street dead, they would just walk all over him. But if it's a guy that works for Thomas Wayne, everybody's mourning and sad for them. And so, which has some truth to it. There's definitely instances where that happens, and it's sad. And I think it was a very interesting point to bring up, especially from a psychotic character like the Joker is. Now, in no way do I consider any of these things to be reasoning for violence, right? I don't consider any of that to be enough, I guess... Again, reasoning, proper reasoning for things like that. I don't consider that at all. I just think they're very true points that people need to address in a civil matter, for sure. And, you know, I feel like this movie did a really good job of, I guess, it introduces these things, like I said in the beginning, that are so familiar to us, but at the same time, they're relatively new. Like, this isn't like any other DC or superhero movie I've ever seen. It's not even really a superhero movie. It's just a movie about how society and prior problems that aren't checked can lead to further problems can lead to disaster and that's the same with all of our lives in fact this movie could be a good parallel to all of us if we don't check things in our lives it could run amok and cause our own destruction or cause us to be something that is nowhere near the person we need or want to be and so i thought that was really interesting and i'm just going to talk about real quick my favorite scene of the movie again this is spoilers so if you haven't clicked out at this point, I suggest you click out because this is a scene in the movie that I'm going to be describing in great detail. My favorite scene is when Arthur Fleck is putting on his, his face makeup in preparation to going on the, on the Murray show and two guys from his old clown work, or I guess job, come and visit him. One's a midget and the other is this big guy named Randall who's actually been kind of a jerk to Arthur this whole time, telling lies about him and helping him get fired and all these things. And... You know, he's talking to Arthur, and Arthur's already snapped at this point. He's already had some major things happen, like realizing he's adopted, finding out his mom was psychotic, and in Arkham for a while. His whole world's turned upside down, and so he's already had a nervous breakdown. But then this guy comes into his house and starts talking to him about the cops, talking to him, and Arthur just straight up stabs him with scissors and then smashes his head against the wall until he's dead, which is intense all in and of itself. And then, of course, the midget friend is in the corner, like, freaking out, like, holy crap, why'd you do that? And Arthur just sits down in the doorway, looks over at this guy, and he's just like, yeah, well, don't look, just don't look at it. And he's like, you know I'm gonna be on the Murray show tonight? And the midget's just, like, freaking out, like, what the heck is wrong with you? But it's, it's crazy, because this movie was able to do something that I've never seen a movie pull off. It's to have something that's super intense, disturbing, but then right away be funny. Because in the same scene, you know, Arthur lets the midget leave, and as the midget's trying to leave, he's reaching for a lock high up on the door that he can't reach. And then he asks Arthur very hesitantly for help to get the lock because he can't get it. And so Arthur gets up and is like, oh yeah, silly me. And he helps him unlock it and lets him leave. And I don't know, it was hilarious. Everybody in the theater just started busting out laughing. But again, the movie was able to pull off, Todd Phillips was able to pull off something that I've never seen having a hilarious comedic moment right after a brutal disturbing murder like i don't know how they did it but it was really impressive to me and that's just a great description of the film as a whole it was able to make me feel emotions that i really wouldn't feel in that circumstance but it worked and you know overall this movie just made you feel both sympathetic disturbed and entertained for two hours and it was just amazing combination of very great achievement in cinema and I was just thoroughly impressed by it. That's my spoiler free and spoiler filled review for The Joker of 2019 starring Joaquin Phoenix. If you guys have seen it definitely let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy it? Are there some things you didn't quite like? And yeah just let me know what you think and until then I'll see you guys next time.